here, and we're in the inning. This is the reaction time. This is a period where we're going to have solutions put on the where we're going to see things actually break and force a solution. Uh, it's done with phony solutions. They can take to try more. They're not going to really get much. Uh, this is the about this today and how you know you've made forecasts in the past and it seems like a lot of them are playing out right now discuss a little bit about these forecasts and i guess we can start it's fracturing right yes, it's, it's getting see with to nato um you have the french participating in syria Russians insulations and killing their, their other France and working side with Russia to say pirate oil crisis. There have been many in the past where some some NATO and have been working very closely with Russia in in their campaign in Syria. Um, you also have the that states weren't participant in attempted to do a coup uh, d'etat against and there have been some very deep, far reaching consequences for this. To me we're we're seeing I think some just steps are being made uh, whereby Russia is going to share, perhaps, the Encyrlic Air Force Base with the Turkish military. What I say is there's tighter relations going on with the military and the Russian military than ever before, and Russia has to have landing rights and, you know, take Usage of the base, the gigantic Air Force base spanning It's a NATO Air Force base in Turkey. It's like it's off limits. Evidence of off limits is that a week ago, the U.S. military moved all the weapons and Bulgaria and Germany. Oof, from Turkey. Okay. Elijah, I think. The NATO is starting to fracture. And before I, I get off this topic, there's a, a critical end of the U.S. government. After the agreement in February 2014, the U.S. actually told the president of the EU, the member of the NATO, that since the continent, that their presidents will take orders from the NATO Supreme The U.S. overstepped its power to reach. I mean, already the French and German and Italian leaders were taking orders from the U.S. They, they call it the commission. It's not. It's a, it, yeah, it's a commission, but it's a commission of fascist dictators. There's no election. Just all over. You see evidence in the fact that they just extended the Russian sanctions for the EU. So no member state wanted to continue. All right, so the U.S. take orders from the NATO Supreme Commander, and all the nations objected. So this is a climax coup d'etat. Going to lose afterwards that split cause some cracks in the and its fracture. So Eli, that's the forecast. Now I was thinking if we can move forward here a bit, I thought was really relevant to what you just said. One of the forecasts that you have is that Russia and China are totally capturing Greece and Turkey. Did you want to talk about this? Yes, there have been some for the failed US coup d'etat. Um, to begin with pretty much rap uh, to do austerity budgets, 
So there are a lot of industries and well, suffered it. But in order to make so this, a lot of prized assets in Greece were and captured uh, as, as collateral, you know, fault collateral seized by the German banks. So this is resentful and, and, and full rabid assets. Then came Turkey. Turkey an SU fighter aircraft and and a lot of consequences after that. Their tourism went to the top. Uh, a lot of things went bad there. Uh, it went south. And there were pretty much about a percent decline. A recession. Okay, well now Russia's coming in, starting up the stream with gas. Their giant Rosatom uh, nuclear facility in Turkey. Using again, huge storage project and numerous. <clears throat> at the same time, Ch China came in and bought one of the largest Greek shipping ports called Piraeus. Okay, well, of evidence that, that Greece and Turkey, that by Russia and China, capture. And at the same time, don't expect problems for the to move through the Bosporus Straits, which are technically Turkey, but Greece as well. I think Russia capture Greece and Turkey, control the entire eastern corner of the Mediterranean. Let's try to cut off the port facility for the Russian Navy. And it's discuss now how forecast that the EU Commission was going to be seeing that plane right now. You see. can you talk about this? Yes, this is very touchy because we're talking about a fascist dictatorship. Uh, off this is their helm. This is where you've had quotes to go from Spencer, who says. Trade, and we don't answer to the people. We and we're part of this economic part of it. Okay, they're, they're the EU is going to be ignored. The, the first, the Russian sanctions. Now, as a quick preface, we, we economic forum. That's what we call it. The, and that it is a central banker and a banker barbecue with martinis and whiskey. With, with captains at what they call central barbecue and open bar. Okay. A few months ago, I think June, we had St. Petersburg forum hosted by Russia. It just happened to be that very few but CEOs were there. I contend that that indeed was a forum. was a central bank barbecue and so at the St. Peter's forum about 23 billion dollars among Russia, among member states, every one of the sanctions of the anti-Russian sanctions, every single one. So that is Now, that's on the economic side. On the other side, trade investment, that's between the United States and the European Union, Union. It's a dastardly, bold, fascist dictatorship power grab. GMOs, you know, all the chromosome altering garbage that they put into food systems. Uh, they uh, continue with the, the shared 
intellectual uh, property in the states. They, they things in this trade union ugly, like a uh, resolution handled by appointed by the corporations and have the corporations so in other words, the businesses will take control sets and they will no thank you there's not a European country that is signed for Obama's TT trade union and the American press and the American public can I power grab. They think, oh no, so not a country is signed on. And political trade unions that are all falling on their faces. These are the unions of the EU nation. They're being ignored. Now, when it comes to, you know, we've talked about before about currency and that you think that China is going to a gold-backed currency. Now, one of your recent forecasts is that the, you know, the, the short-term note is going to as this will kill the Treasury bill. And you're saying that this play out Gold port played out right now. We are with trade payments ports. The, the See, is the dollar and the vehicle is the U.S. Treasury bill. So they're called T-bills. T-bills. The South Korean shipping went bankrupt, went into receivership, and had all kinds of problems. It's hard to conceive, but several ships uh, roaming with difficulty cargo and remember, it delivers uh, to a port like in Los Angeles. So, it's a thousand containers on it. Hence, it's not. It, it's like a, a company in China, Korea, and they're looking to deliver across the United States. The story told, and you. Know, I don't believe the finance almost I'm proven in my assumption that they're they're full of lies. It just takes time to draw. Okay. The Jen it's cargo Los Angeles, Oakland, Tacoma, and elsewhere. That's what we're told. I don't believe it's quite true. I believe we're having problems as we're debtor in possession of IP. The debt financing should kick in quickly. So it comes in and but we'll buy a 50% discount and we'll make sure that's information in the system. The DIP debt financing. Okay, that should have been ended. This is standard. And kick in. And my team, this is, this is guys came right out and said, I think they were just a And that's the problem. That's holding things up. That's the rent. That's what the debtor in thing is. Because the debtor is demanding non and the port through their, you know, uh, they're offering dollars and the Asians dollars. It's happening in possession, DIP. The bank, the problem is they're rejecting the Treasury bill. I think we're starting to see the projections now on a widespread basis. And you see, I uh, would for this uh, Tacoma port, uh, Korean vessel. And hours later, it left. 
unloading its cargo. I think they're rejecting the bill. Okay. Now, the port problems. I've been saying now for about three years, and this is directly through um, advice and, and, and statements by the voice. He told me back in 2015 or so, you're going to start seeing movement, which would be a short type of instrument, and it'll be called back in trade payment. And he said, but you wait. Once we get some with uh, trade payments, and once you get more payments, you get a bond purchase program, which is nothing more than hyper-monetary inflation that we call it's not good. It's destructive. Okay. So the voice tip three years ago looks like China is on the verge of announcing a gold back be short. In other words, it, it, all it needs to be is like six months, 12 months as a vehicle, as a financial security, secured by Good word, trust of the U.S. government, because there isn't any left. It will be backed by gold. Countries that want to engage in the short-term notes, called the gold notes, RMB currency. It's starting to happen very because it will be seen as the solution or a very important solution payments problems. It doesn't matter that Hunt went bankrupt. What matters is it's not working. I think that's because the DFC wants a gold trade note. And that's not me. advocate against the U.S. press. I think when it comes to anything regarding the chances are over what the And I've I got a number of years, like 10 or 12 years, and example to back up the statement. So if people sources of for financial press, financial and economic reporting, Understanding a very unsettling that the mainstream news does not give adequate, complete news about finance. They start with an assumption that the dollar is good. The assumption is good. The is legitimately good. And they're all lies. That's, that's my belief. That's what I think is happening. The gold short term will be equivalent to the gold, and it's close. We're very close. Definitely. The media, that's one of the reasons. We do it, we do right here. You know, liberty.com. That's one of the reasons I started because it's just the mainstream media does not tell you a lot of things I think people should know about. Besides the awards, uh, you see in the future, did you want to see some ways you see that the IMF is going to back the SDR with gold? Okay, this is a, a super duper good solution that happened by the way. Bank, they call them so, well, we don't, they don't call them, we call them. Uh, is a word used for very evil and very uh, crime syndicate, but at a crime, crimes against theft against humanity, printing themselves trillion dollars. I'd like a billion never paid back. Okay, it doesn't have a trillion, one billion jackass, zero. And I never have to pay it back. Roll it every time. Well, that's what 
banker cabal making this the Ron Paul inspired audit of the Federal Reserve to back twenty trillion dollars left zero point five percent to the the Federal Reserve. I think it's to buy up their favorite assets in the world after they crack the system. Okay, so here's this is this is come you know get the, the major pieces to it uh, described as best I can. The when currency, the yuan. Current I had a Chinese correct that said, Jim, you need to understand something. Yuan has a simple that's the same as the dollar. So the the Chinese If you go to the Cordoba, uh, a C with a right? okay, it's Cordoba dollar, Cordoba currency. It, it gets it gets very weird. But he said that the RMB just means money. Okay, money in the nation. That's how you think of it. Okay. Supposedly today, we'll see that the uh, internet funds a basket of currencies called for drawing rights. Includes the dollar, pound, and the Japanese yen. Now the fifth, the Chinese yuan. Okay, fine. The dollar percentage weight does not change. It's under 1%. The euro, I think, 8%. The British pound only 8 but it's Three, and that'll be the eight plus three, eleven percent to the Chinese RMB. Okay, so big questions come up: whether SDR that countries around the world banking systems. When they do that, they're going to bonds of the U.S. denomination and SDR bonds basket. IMF basket. Well, if they do, there's going to be a lot of sales, hundreds of billions of of treasury dumped. It's going to play out. Now, here's the super duper uh, West banker potential solution. They might come out and say, we're backed SDR bond, and we're going to back those four. Five currencies, back them with gold, and it'll be backed with Basel, Switzerland gold, which is the. I don't, and I don't Eastern Asian or Eastern country will like this because what it stinks like, what it smells like, what it indicates is more of a unit where the bank. All the gold in Basel, Switzerland, and they say to small countries like, say, Fiat, you want to participate with, then you send us 800 tons of gold from Bolivia and secure you can, like the resource. Bolivia has lots of aluminum, tin, silver, lots and lots of metal. They don't have this amount of gold production, so they might swap other metals for future supply of gold that might for in this new system that this the Unipol Bolivia will be forced to contribute gold to Basel, which amplifies its reserves for the benefit of the world. We've seen the benefit of the world in the last several of, of wars, of sanctions, of destructive measures that have not resulted in any recovery in the United States economy, any, any, and then we're seeing problems in the and power solution. I don't like the provisions follow on. Donate or their goal. 
Would they ever see it back? All you have to do is look for precedent is that the Austrians and the Germans never received their gold. Steal it. Okay, this is a prescription for unipolar of power while at the same time stealing more gold. I don't like anything about it. a gold-backed IMF SDR. I don't like anything about it. And I think Russia and China will F you. We don't want to have anything to do with this. Because we want a multi centers in do They want Hong Kong, Australia, Frankfurt, Germany, London, other nations. They want centers all across the world. Centers. Centers. Gold vaults. Gold vaults. A multi. Any. As an act of terrorism against. The U.S. is being exposed. Uh, uh, in many. Being a sponsor of terrorism. And the. Accuses of being terrorist related, the more it's exposed it's in Washington. And this is very, very ugly stuff. All right, and the last question you about uh, current is Saudi oil sales. Did you want to talk about this? Yes. Some previous dealings with the Saudis, the U.S., this is like a climax of corruption. Uh, preference. It's in Credit Suisse. Uh, law. That was back in 2013. Okay. Those were. Okay. Since when does the U.S. government have jurisdiction over the U.S. banking system? They claim that there were. Okay, and that was, but far deeper than that, what I've come to learn, and the voice from the start, what I've come to learn, the U.S. government wanted to fund the Swiss banking and Credit Suisse, and the funds were paid, please, but that wasn't the main motive, the and London boy wanted to gain control of a subsidiary to business so they could steal everything. The Saudis had, had the most. And the Saudis reacted not by public because they were threatened to be taking their remain in Saudi. And we bank. Okay. That's a little bit of Saudi history. Here's some more Saudi history. Treasury International it's TIC. For years and years, I mean like over 20 years, the Saudi U.S. Treasury bondholders were never delineated as an alignment. It's called OPEC holdings, okay, very cute, kind of covers Cayman, Caribbean, Cayman, and uh, Bermuda, which were basically Bank of England outposts. So that's how they had Bank of England activity. But they hid the Saudi activity by calling it OPEC. Okay, now you had 40 some years of tremendous profit. By the Saudis and the recycling into treasury bonds, the petro recycling that the Saudis signed on to as part of the dollar being standard for all payments, accumulated three, three to five ten dollars worth of treasury bonds. They don't have access. Because it serves as the things for the Treasury Fund, which they use to rig markets around the world. Back. That it's too 
responsible and critical for holding the West financial system together. The Saudis were basically told that the U.S. were or four trillion dollars. Now the Saudis are trying to do it for cash. Okay, the U.S. press likes to say the Saudis are desperate for cash because they're engaged in Yemen war, costly Yemen war. Well, that's partly true. Gee, why don't they have access to this trillion treasury bond? Because we stole it. Access to their perhaps uh, trillion dollars, the gold bullion in Switzerland. Because we stole it. We signed up the Saudis, the partners to execute petrodollar since 1973 with the embargo. Been crude oil. How did they get But in the critical sense. Okay, that's all upside down. Stealing the money in Switzerland banks, three trillion or more in trade at the exchange stabilization. And I one percent of exchange, even after I just described. So the Saudis are angry, they're feeling betrayed, and thrown in the bus. Okay? I think they're now for selling a 10% that's the Arab American petro giant, not just oil production, but petroleum, no, petrochemicals, and a lot of things. foreigners work consultants like the Norwegians and, and others. You can go to the oil drum duck and see. It's really quite advanced and impressive. But the Saudis have been looking And that's a for the Yemen war. They steal Yemen's oil and gas. Assistance. Okay. I'm getting the picture that the um, I believe that the sale of the Aramco share, 10% share, which by the way, is a trillion dollars. So they're valid. It'll be the largest open company in the world, you know, opposed to a crime center like me. Um, I think we're going to see a live to guarantee their oil and oil supply, and the next three days later will be the hereby accept RM currency for sales, not just from China, like Vietnam or Indonesia. Um, and, and what it's going to do, it's going to start a stampede out of trade, the banking systems, for the countries that, which is still a very big oil two in the world, they're not number one anymore. The Russians, they're number two. So this could be the vengeance, which has further impetus that allows victims from 9/11 to sue the Saudis for restitution and, and a war vetoed. But the sun overrode for the veto. So it is, and, and this is strange. I mean, it could not be sure. You got the Congress victims of hills that can sue the Syrians and maybe draw <laughs> the pension fund maintained in the Treasury Department. This is very stuff. He's had much of a hiring those who were painted as Patsy. It was really MI6 and especially finally it was the side job blamed on the South to not the lot to draw the fund. And the Saudi with you guys in the United States, you stole your gold, you sequestered it, 
isolated our trade, opening up our, our assets for, for restitution and lawsuits, we're done with you guys. We're going to sign up. They've already got it between Saudi and to try to extend oil and price. So the Saudis are working with Russia. Chinese as in for numerous insides and I think the same uh, and immediately Elijah RMB and that is the death of the petrodollar right there. We six or eight steps toward the death of the petrodollar. And I've outlined many, like, you know, I don't want to, I think we're about to the petrodollar, and this, should again, is the agent for that action. Now, that's one of the forecasts that we were going to cover next. You made that in 2014 that the Saudis would accept the U.S. currency from China seen that you say some OPEC nations like Nigeria, Nigeria do this. Yes, we have two nations within OPEC. They're not per Arab nation, but Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria and West Africa, Algeria, Africa, which is an Arab nation. Two nations already. This is in just the last several months. Nigeria and Algeria, the Chinese, see, in oil sales. There's two within to do then again except when the Saudis accept Chinese R and B, it's gonna be wide open the Saudis accept Chinese and it's coming. You can you can just if you have a good nose that is. If you direct it toward the mind control stream See, foresee anything. I think it, it stupefies people. I, mean, I used to watch Maine when I was young. I, I got my suspicions, Elijah, when I was in high school because I didn't believe in Vietnam War. I started talking to friends of mine, others. I started reading not so much on the internet, but other like journals that talked about. industrial complex and kickbacks senators started reading about a real big item uh, air going after the camp to capture the heroin Cambodia and that now open information so my trust of the, the mainstream press started a long time ago when my tech was entering the meat grind all right. I had a student. Proud of the fact that because I was I was a student, I, I am proud of the fact that for my nineteen deferment. And I said, you know, go ahead, Pennsylvania. Uh, to my two, didn't they got sixty, and that meant that I could never be. So that's how. The military service for Vietnam. And when I was 20 years old. So, you know, very time, you know, it has a mission protecting statements about the war. Sanctions. Well, what? Because it goes to war. Well, war is good. You know, war is good. The war is good to the economy. It's not. It's very no, they don't. You trickle down Nick in the positive side. doesn't have steps. It only hits. Okay. Almost all the mainstream messages. Are, uh, it goes so far. Military has a contract. They pay $5 million to the National Football League. That's at almost every game. Every single playoff game. So we're getting mixed woven together with 
In most of the college bowl games, you have a U.S. military honor guard. It's the same thing. Like these trends. It's, it's, it's the message is element is pro-war, and the people should regard soldier sacrifice. But it's that's the mainstream news. Moving on here, another focus that we were going to. He made in 2012. He said the U.S. government was going to. And you say that we've seen this with worker pensions and lately with the market funds. Um, if you want to feel of how it's affecting the money market, all you have to do is check. And those are two giant mutual fund houses. They've got. They're, they're more like. Declaration of, of law by the fact that they've got two fidelity investors account will now and a special U.S. government treasury bond. Okay, we're starting to see of the special U.S. government two years ago. Summer of 15, no, summer of 14, 2014, the federal government employees would be in what's called a special U.S. Treasury bond. The full name. I, there is a name for it, and I don't expose to it often. I just call it a special U.S. Treasury bond. So you have Van Fidel directing money, the, the cash it, from the money markets, who, which have been turned absolutely upside down in the last two years, three years. They do to the, the near zero interest rate of term treasuries. They don't. You see in CDs for six months where they give you half cents. Nothing. It's been turned upside down. And recently, they've got their the special U.S. government treasury bond, which again, all the while, U.S. government employee pensions are being pushed special government treasury bond. Okay, the trend looks clear that pensions and money markets are going to be like a herd. Move into treasury bonds. Because when, here's why. The U.S. government cannot put a trillion dollar deficit. This is not small. I believe it's 1.3 trillion in the last year. Fiscal year 15 just ended. One point, they, 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 they're so nervy. They're, they're, they're just lying. They're bold lying to your face. They said the deficit. For fiscal 2015 was only 600 billion. If you do some simple things that a third grader could do, you take the total debt at the end of fiscal 2014, and you look at the change to the end of the fiscal year 2015, and you see that it's three. Then how can you say it's only 600 billion for the last year's deficit? And they're, they they. Then even bolder, stupid. Well, we use seasonality. There is no for seasonality over a full year. That's a full cycle. Okay, this is so sickening, Elijah. But to be the new trend is the money market through funds are going into special trade. What's coming? I believe it's the forecast. is coming next is and if this full in the I, I wrote it's not just not just money market. It's 401ks, the company sponsored and personal personally managed. I think this cover 
a rather significant slice of the trillion. But here's why they need to do something. I believe up to see the launch of domestic only dollar. By that I mean and recognize payments inside its borders. It's given, it's given other names. Dollar as opposed to reserve dollar. The treasury dollar is like a debt. But at the same time, they must manage it. And I believe that they do so on the back of market and pension funds. Later, they might go after the corporate pension fund to manage, you know, defined benefit, defined contribution pension funds. No, very difficult. But I do believe that if they go after just the 401k, Keo is much Keo, Keo used to be kind of safe, like for private dentists and things like that. Uh, uncle had he was a dentist in Iowa. He's but a significant slice of the trillion for the annual year with my 401k and I. And say it's to enable survival of the country. And you cannot get it. You cannot. You can't. So if you've got a $200 IRA or 401 you think, oh, this is doing well, the stock market's up. It might transferred to a that earns jack and will be but I defaulted on his debt this Elijah it's just a fact the over 2015 it's the US government entered bank the major led by China of the bankruptcy because we want the treasury bond thing with Q support by the Federal Reserve. In other words, we need a long time before they lose all as in and default. Oh goodness. Okay. <sighs> that's that's about the plan money markets. No, while well, we're on the topic treasury bonds in 2015 another forecast you made was that treasury bonds, the 10 year treasury bond yield declined from two percent and then later to one percent say that we've seen the decline to 1.5 percent but we're still waiting on that decline all the way to one percent did you want to discuss a little bit about what's played out forecast three percent uh they they have a name for that like the ten index, uh, the ten for the ten year. Uh, we're two point oh, two point three percent, and at the time, people said, "Jim, that's a you man." I said, "Give it, give it a year or two. Let the U.S. trade coal." But like for instance, now the car market asset back. Uh, let them get ready. Let the student loan bonds get wrecked. Let everything get wrecked, and you'll see a market into treasury bonds as the only viable bond. And we've seen that. Um, we've seen that. I don't really know the 1.0 percent. We have. I think I have the exact. Number. Six five or one point seven zero right now. If we disastrous economic, it's becoming quite clear, Elijah. The U.S. in a that's been over in duration, very clear. Get pension central banks, not just the U.S. Fed, not just the Euro Central. The bank, they're starting to say we can get away from QE, namely 
covering the stuff, monetizing them with printed money, and starting with away from zero percent. To admit that there might be failure on the economic front, they always call it stimulus. Sure, it's stimulus for a criminal Wall Street bank. It's wonderful. They got a worthless bond. Fed or printed money. Hey, everybody's happy. Let's go to the Hamptons and spend a couple weeks, summer, and, and get another boat maybe, because one one or two boats might not be enough. <laughs> anyway, we see wide recognition of the U.S. economic recession. It's vicious. It's absolutely and Obamacare has been an important piece for wrecking small The one that threw a lot of aspects is just plan in and out the effect on small They're not. We might, with a wider recognition, especially if one engineers a stock market decline, we might see the 1% target hit for the TNX, that 10-year Treasury yield. Uh, I know the Wall Street sees a real big profit in the hole in the stock market bubble. All they have to do is start making some negative comments and have the Fed make some negative comments. And lots and lots of S&P short futures, and here's the not a big market, huge market, options S&P futures. Thirty to one. An option has a hundred to two hundred in leverage. It'd be illegal. So comes out and punctures their own sponsor. That bubble and they profit for. And they say, well, our portfolio insurance in place. Okay, well, that sounds all right, except that outlooks and, and come from the feds. They're all saying, the only thing to look at <laughs> who are the biggest holders of treasury bonds? That's how point zero percent Elijah. Uh, and, and it's really not from where we are now. If you take the one, or one point, a 25 basis point move from I think it got down to something like 1.3 or 1.4 percent. So we're about 30 or 40 percent recent bottom in the 10 field that TN described. So if we have a swing, usually you swung up. That could be a swing down. Huge psychological effect. The whole world that something's and we have today of okay. That's gonna be an but the whole so much for joining us today. Before we let you go thoughts you where find you online. Thoughts uh I think this October, full surprise, I think it's going to be a very dangerous time. I think we, we might start to include the, the army. We might get some follow-up from that, a lot of talk. Uh, some countries say we're going to, going to shift our minds away from Chinese, uh, away from Europe, and then the Chinese. What for a bigger goal? And coming out of the IMF, a unipolar banker that, that could come. What we're going to see is one day, a few days later, another big surprise announcement, huge effect announcement, and when October's over, we see quite a few big events, all of which would be very and not in magnitude. We've seen the last several months. So, November, you 
you know, when the U.S. government country and kill its leaders, that country tends to change its plan on going against the dollar. Like kicking, call kicking out the legs of the king dollar. So China should plan nuclear war. This is how we're defending the dollar. I told people back in 2005, in the late stages of the king dollar, it's going to be defended with war. And my father told me one of the stupidest things I've ever heard he told me. And I said, to the mainstream my father still does not agree that we're using war. He thinks we're using war to defend against Syrian aggression, Syrian chemical sponsorship of ISIS. I said, no, Syria is not sponsored. Langley and Mossad are. And there's lots of proof. Oh, yeah, but you're the Internet. You can't discuss these things with people who exception distort. And, and here's the first I just learned yesterday it's from one of my colleagues who has in courts and other things. You can't do some of these things with people who follow mainstream news because they don't accept what evidence as as data. Because they say it's not properly entered evidence. Oh, all that stuff you read on the Oh really? Well, I read National Football League scores on I balance from my bank in Pennsylvania, on, and that's accurate. I read lots of different analyses of uh, bankruptcies for banks and criminal proceedings against banks for fraud, and it seems to be. But anything that's a dollar on the internet is not. Evidence. Oh my God! You can't argue with these people. It's been exactly exactly years now. One hundred monthly. My file manager. It's like a full page <laughs> of because it's it's three of them. document called the Global Money War Report, and the other one is called Old Insurance. The Money War Report is about how you issues uh, de-dollarization by like superpowers, um, movements away from the infrastructure investment bank, movements like like uh, you know the unions that the U.S. are trying to form that higher and the other one is the gold report where I talk you know, about the double challenge level by central banks. Uh, gold and silver, demand of gold, shortages of gold and silver, and the, the corrupt COMEX and a lot of things. So there, there are two reports this month, and I, I love mentioning this as a point. There are two compliments that you have to get. Get them every single because people interviews on, on the this and they see those people podcasts and reading your articles for the last two or three or four years and decided to sign up for your newsletter. Wish I had done it sooner. That's Thank you for your work. I'm I get it a little weirder. Uh, Clint, several years ago, uh, three years, I, I decided back in 2012 to, and I've been back now for, I don't know why I've never left, because this, I tried a few others and they all seem kind of vacant, things. But you know best. I invite people to go to the website, goldenjackass.com. It's around a little bit. Familiar. 
uh, expert you are, what's the word, familiar you are, financial economic concepts, but you know, the more experienced Patrick don't you regret it. It's named chapters. So, got six chapters, but I only read naming and get to chapters, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. I already know the chapter through it and looked at it. Okay, that's, that's what my clients do. And there are a lot of them from 76 countries. Um, and so, like Malta. I got a couple of Malta. It's funny. But uh, I look around and Patrick left. Thank you for having me on. It's always fun. I, I don't apologize for getting worked up about this. We're, we're talking about the death of the dollar and the end of the American empire and regime. It's a new name now. It's called the Empire of Chaos because we're trying to spreading terrorism. Yeah. It's just very, very ugly what's going on. Uh, um, I see, I'm a citizen. I'm, I'm a loyal U.S. citizen. I don't like I believe that was a fascist dictatorship coup d'etat. Restored. We're talking about finance and liberty. Very consistent. The goals, the deal. So, thank you. Definitely. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, bye. This video was brought to you in part by Rockstar.com. A responsible person with growing concerns for your privacy and personal liberty. We ask the experts what's needed to take responsible action to safeguard your family's wealth. And what the first steps will help you. Subscribe for free to reluctantpeppers.com. Los Angeles, I, I, so, a thousand containers. Hanjin does not own, it's like a, a company does in, in Japan or Korea, came to deliver to say, okay, the story we're told, and, and believe most of the stories we're told come to finance. And it's always proven correct. So they're either truths or false. It just takes time to draw out. Okay, so the Han Jin can't Oakland to elsewhere. That's what we're told. I don't believe that's I believe severe problems uh, that are not as we're told, the, the debtor in possession financing should kick in quickly. We're a company, a specialist, but we'll buy it at a 30% discount and we'll 
sold to the That's the lubrication system. The TCP, de debtor in possession. Okay, that sh kicked in. This is your bankruptcy procedure, Elijah. And it did not kick in. And my team, this is, this, a lot of this is Euro Raj. Euro Raj came right up and said, I think you're rejecting the Treasury bill as a form of payment. And that is the problem. That's, what, that's the wrench in the world. That's why the cargo is not being cleared. That's why the financing is not working. Because the debtor in financing is, is demanding and the port owners, through their staples or target or whatever, uh, they're and are refusing in possession DIP financing. But the problem is not the problem is they're rejecting the Treasury bill. I think we're starting to see the rejections now on a widespread basis. And in, in some YouTubes, uh, William Mount, Washington port, a, a South Korean vessel, entered. Hours later, it left. Okay. The port problem. I've been saying for about three years. Um, advice and, and statements made by... He told me in 2000 toward developing a gold trade note, which would be a short-term instrument in, in trade. He said it'll take time to unfold, but you wait. Once we get some difficulties, with, uh, and once you get more problems with the dollar, and once you get a couple more years of this insane. Bond monetization purchase program. Nothing more than African Zimbabwe hyper place. It's, it's destructive. Okay, so take me off. And now it looks like China is thing a gold backed to be short term maturity. It, it, all it needs to be is it's like Three months, six months, 12 months as a vehicle, as a financial security. Secure the, the because there isn't it will be back to gold. Countries in trade will have the short no called currency gold. It's all to happen soon because it will be seen as a or a very incredible solution for trade payments resolving the ports. It doesn't matter that Hanjin went bankrupt. What matters is DIP financing is not working. And I think that's because the DIP financing wants a gold trade. And that is not in the U.S. press. I'm a tremendous against the U.S. press. The everything regarding finance and economics, the chances are it's a grand lie. And I've got, I got a years like. To back up my statement. So if people send their of for financial press, financial economic reporting, data, uh, you, you need to start understanding a, a very unsettling point. The mainstream news does not give partial news economics. They start with the assumption that the dollar is good. That QE bond monetization is good, that the stock market is legitimately up, that the economy is sluggish growth. That's that's my belief, Elijah. 
That's what I think is happening. The gold trade short-term note will be equivalent to the gold trade. It's close. We're very close. Something about the you know, one of the things um, we do you know, on financeliberty.com, I mean, that's why one of the reasons it's just the mainstream does not tell you a lot of the things people should know about. Moving besides the yuan gold back to see in the future, did you want to discuss some of the ways you see that the SDR with gold? Okay, this is a super tempted solution that could happen very soon by the Western thinker elite. Themselves, they don't. Uh, Cabalas use very evil and very criminal, uh, kind of like a syndicate, but at a higher level against humanity. Theft. I'd like a dollar loan that's never paid back. Do you, Elijah? I just want one billion. Okay, doesn't have. To Billion jackass loan, two percent, and I never have to pay. Roll it over. Every, that's what I would like. That's what these trillion dollar loan. Think I'm making this up? The rock inspired 2009. The federal two batches of loans totaling zero point five to the of the federal. I think that was their favorite assets. So, okay, so here's what I think. This is it's complex. I'll try to to it uh, describe it as I can. I believe the when the the, the RMB stands for rent and I a Chinese felt correct me as symbol in Chinese is the same as the dollar. So it's really Chinese dollar. Okay, Chinese currency. Uh, if you go to Nicaragua for the court, uh, a C with a dollar sign after it. Okay, it's see, okay, it's, it gets the, the RB just means money. Okay, money in the yuan. That's how you think of it. Okay, so It's supposedly today, we'll see how it turns out, that the RMB is going to be included in the funds basket of current the special rights. That includes the British pound and the now there's a fifth that's okay, fine. The dollar weight does not change. It's under one percent. 